Moments ago, the Tennessee Titans, according to Tom Pelissero, has their guy, the offensive coordinator of the Bengals. Brian Callahan is now their new head coach. It's a good pedigree. Joe Burrow, Peyton Manning, Matthew Stafford, Derek Carr, to name just a few of the quarterbacks that he has been around in his career. Tom, give me the details of the hire. Mike, the NFL's hiring process has evolved in recent years. The league's wanted to slow things down. This felt like old school NFL, where Brian Callahan goes in for an in-person second interview with the Titans today, and then they did not let him leave the building. He was supposed to be on a plane tonight to Carolina to interview again for the Panthers job. He had a second interview also set up with the Atlanta Falcons. Tennessee had focused in on Brian Callahan. They land their top target. Callahan is a guy who has worked with some of the top quarterbacks in the NFL, including Peyton Manning, who he worked with as a young assistant in Denver. Manning has been a big advocate for Brian Callahan, who also happens to be the son of longtime NFL coach Bill Callahan. If anybody asked Peyton Manning, they'd say, you need to hire this guy as your head coach. Ian, it is now going to be soon official. Brian Callahan, the new head coach of the Tennessee Titans. Yeah, and, and you mentioned some of the great quarterbacks that he has worked with. Obviously, the work that he has done with Joe Burrow has certainly been noted. But it's not just that. The fact that he got Jake Browning this year to play as well as he did certainly played into it because so much of what you want to do if you're the head coach and certainly the essentially de facto offensive coordinator of the Tennessee Titans is make sure that Will Levis plays at as high a level as possible. This is one of the better quarterback tutors in the game. And, and you know, as far as the Titans go, it's not like they were just looking for an offensive guy, defensive guy. They're looking for a leader, someone to help build the culture. And the way that the Cincinnati Bengals behind Zach Taylor have built this culture and Brian Callahan has been right there alongside alongside him ever since he was hired this is part of what they want to want to replicate in Tennessee general manager Rand Carthon had his first biggest task I would say as general manager after the firing of Mike Vrabel and he now lands Brian Callahan as his new head coach and deal soon to be final when Amy Adams Strunk fired Mike Vrabel, she talked about the best organizations in the NFL now have alignment and collaboration. So this is her new brain trust. It is Rand Carthon and Brian Callahan. Those are the people that she is entrusting to bring the Titans back to the top of the AFC. This also raises questions, Mike, again, because we've seen all the second interview slips that have gone out and everybody is going to string out their process. Usually, if this is like the old NFL, once one of these hires is made, all of a sudden other owners start to get antsy. Brian Callahan, again, was a finalist for multiple jobs here. Let's see now if perhaps the dominoes start to fall a little bit more quickly than everybody expected. Yeah, a little trickle-down effect. And if that is the case, Tom, you and Ian will be very busy. And, of course, you always have a spot to give us all the latest news here on NFL Total Access. Great stuff by you guys, as always. Your reaction, Sean, when you hear some of this news? Well, if he's anything like his dad, mm -hmm. they're going to run the football. And Bill Callahan's been an unbelievable run game coordinator. Uh, he was a head coach before. But everywhere he's been, the run game has improved. Maybe Derrick Henry might, might want to come back. I know he said mm. goodbye already, but yeah. maybe if he sees that, maybe he wants to stay. I'm going to call it the CNC Music Factory. I'm going to make you sweat. <laughs> oh, my God. We're doing so much. I think working with a young quarterback was intriguing. Having someone who's familiar with working with young quarterbacks who's had success, that was probably a big part of the process when it came for the Titans. Uh, the guys mentioned the dominoes can start to fall. Four teams still looking for head coaches, the Commanders, the Panthers, the Chargers, and the Falcons. Some big names still out there, guys like Bill Belichick, Mike oh. Vrabel, Harbaugh. I, I keep hearing about the second interview with, with Belichick down in Atlanta. Hmm. Hey, the resume doesn't speak for itself at this point. Well, but to your point, go through the interview. Yeah, yeah, we got to go through this entire process. Uh, always great to give you the latest news. And, of course, all week long, we got you covered. Championship Sunday, all the details of those huge matchups always here on NFL Network.